Good morning, this is Giuseppe Basile. I'm the analyst and trader. You can find the blog Fibonacci Stalking.com. Also, post regularly on Twitter using the Fib Stalker nickname. Good morning, uh, today is um, May the 3rd, 2013, and uh, it's, uh, it's Friday. Um, and in this brief video, I'm going to review the uh, Eurofx currency futures contract, which you see on the screen is the daily chart aligned to the June 2013 expiration. And I'm going to review in this video also the 4-hour chart to show you a little bit better where we are at the moment. So uh, those who follow me know that I've been timing this uh, measured move um, higher that identified um, a, uh, an area between 129.10 and 127.15 uh, uh, here in which I uh, was uh, expecting uh, a long participation. That's what, what we have got. Actually, this area was a little bit sloppy and um, but nevertheless uh, at the beginning of February we started seeing some traction here and price came, um, price actually I came above this 129.10 level. Um, during uh, the last two weeks, I've also identified this level of support, which was also offered a nice uh, entry here with a, with an entry above 128, uh, 129.80, and with a stop below 129.25. Those who follow this um, um, this uh, move here. Got, got actually more than 200 uh, points here. Now, um, last um, at the beginning of the week, actually mid of the week, I identified, I showed you this potential area of um, of resistance, and I say that we could see two different scenarios. The first one would have been a continuation higher towards this 133.10 uh, um, level of uh, first target of this setup in 129.80, and a continuation higher above 133.55. This would have confirmed the long, um, the long, uh, the weekly long here with a target in the 141 level. However, I also um, I also showed another scenario in which we would uh, see um, participation on the downside in the 132.30 uh, area and that's what we got uh, what we are getting at the moment what we got uh, since um, actually uh, Wednesday when we had this uh, the beginning of the the move lower here with a, with participation with the weekly um, weekly position traders uh, uh, and program trading uh, participating at the downside now um, what I told you and I also showed on the on the trading plan was a potential move down again into this 129.80 and but this would be a second uh, a second test so we have to be very very careful here I want to show you uh, where um, this uh, 132 30 area of participation short uh, on the short side has a target it has a target in 125.20 area so um, uh, it's very important. Uh, the, the the next the coming days are going to be um, very important. The beginning of next week is going is going to be very important because it's going to um, is going to tell us whether the, the euro dollar is going to continue lower into this one twenty five eighteen, and that would also um, basically that that would also mean a failure of this uh, of these weekly longs here, and um, because uh, if price gets below this 127.15 level I've showed you before then the uh, long um, scenario won't be um, won't be valid anymore and um, I don't think this 129.80 is going to is going to hold once uh, price will be there and the reason is uh, price behavior in the 132.30 area and again price behavior today and uh, I'll show you uh, on the 4-hour uh, chart what I mean here and uh, for this reason what, I, what I'll do I'll, um, I'll actually show this, um, this uh, line as a, as a dotted line actually here as a, as a broken, uh, a broken um, line sorry for this it's a little bit slow and um, and um, 
So what is going to be important is the next test of this 12910 area, and that's where I believe we will get uh, we will get uh, we will get that initial bounce uh, of this um, of this uh, down move here. So I don't believe 12980 is going to hold. Now, if this 12910 area is going to hold, then we could see a continued move higher and the the long the weekly long still valid. However. After this behavior we had here in the 13230 area, it's, it's possible that um, it's possible that um, we will uh, see a continued move lower with uh, price uh, moving below this 12740. And if that happens, then the, the, the target is going to be 12518 with a potential continuation lower or uh, a bounce before we continue lower. Uh, I want to show you quickly the um, 240 uh, minutes chart of the um, Euro FX currency futures contract and as you can see today we had uh, a continuation of this move lower uh, price came up to the old way halfway back here uh, and um, uh, um, resistance was found at 131.40 area here we also have this 20 uh, bar uh, moving average uh, for our 20 um, for our bar 20 moving averages which is offering um, uh, resistance here and as we can see this 131.40 area is a first target in the 129.90 and that's where we um, where I believe we are headed here and um, the level of support I've showed you um, before which I'm not uh, I'm not I'm not I don't, don't think is going to hold this to 129.80 so once we get the, into this 129.90 we might slice through this level and get to the second uh, second target here which is the 129.10 here so I hope this um, I hope this review is useful uh, I wish you a very good uh, end of the um, weekend and uh, at the end of the week and um, let me um, let me go back to the daily here and um, uh, this weekend I'm going to write a, a newsletter uh, and uh, if you want to see my newsletter go to my website on the left side and at the end of the post related to this video you'll find uh, an icon click on it and it takes only uh, 10 seconds to uh, register um, and now I'm going to send you my email um, my newsletter by email and you'll get uh, my view on the four major pairs as well as as well as um, trading plans for uh, ma major futures SP500 as um, the uh, euro and the dollar index thank you very much for your attention I wish you a very good uh, uh, day and weekend bye bye